Manabaya Shabab, in the previous video we um, implemented all the endpoints in our task controller and I was testing the endpoints manually but I didn't show you the exception handling which you can also test manually for instance if you want to create a task with just an empty description this shouldn't work as you can see as we want a bad request reca uh, request happens um, with a message here the description can't be null or empty and other fields are, are not set as you can see and same applies for our uh, patch request we have a task with I have a locally a task with the number seven but I want to give it the priority of easy which there is no priority of easy so what you can see we get also a bad request and it says uh, priority just can be high low or medium and yeah and if you want um, you can just play around set here some breakpoints and if you send a bad request how it uh, iterates through the method and when the exception gets thrown uh, but yeah I don't want to do this now you can do it play, play with this around but now I want to just emphasize that when we are doing local development we are testing things out and most likely sending some dummy data to our production database but actually in real life we don't want to do it we normally have a local development database for testing things out during the development process just let me now turn off the backend and that's why I want to um, set up so, uh, a local development database right now so we need an extra application YAML file for it application minus dev dot YAML okay and just let me copy the settings here so just basic settings I copied uh, that, 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 that. I hope I didn't forget anything. It's not uh, okay. Application and stuff. YAML. Uh, it, it's not cur It's not properly formatted. Uh, okay. Wait a second. I will just copy paste it again. Okay. Now it now it looks good. Uh, yeah these are just the basic settings as you can see it runs on our local host on our local machine we will set up a local database called Habib coding with the username postgres password postgres okay so good so so far uh, now what are our next steps we have to set up a network so basically when because um, if we uh, our docker container if it gets turned off the container and we turn off our machine we don't want to lose all our data and that's why we will create a network which um, can um, interact with a volume that volume stores our data on our local machine so by the way I have a readme here in the project the readme section there you can find all grab all the comments I'm typing right now and set it up yourself and uh, yeah just open iterm let me make this a little bit bigger for you I hope this looks good for now I will use fish uh, because fish look, I mean now you see it looks a little bit nicer at the command Docker network create Postgres DB type enter and as you can see this worked we get a proper response next I would say uh, go to your local uh, folder as you can see here are my local folders of my uh, user Habib coding here I have already created with just new folder the folder dev minus db minus data that's good now let's change directory uh, 
say enter, we are now in this directory, and in this directory we'll um, store all our data for our local development database. So next I would, uh, just let me look, okay next we need the next command here, copy and say paste, let me just adjust the window. So, okay, okay. Now, uh, this should basically uh, run a, a container, Postgres DB with within the network Postgres underscore DB, and all the data will be stored on our in our uh, local folder here on this specific path. The password is Postgres, and we're using the Alpine image from Postgres. The latest one and as you can see now that uh, um, the, the, the image gets pulled because I don't have any image here in my docker contain in my docker client by the way uh, for all the uh, commands you, you need to be your device needs to have docker installed and if you install the docker client for Mac or Windows or Linux uh, then you have it then you have docker Otherwise, you would get some errors when you type the Docker commands. Now this is pulling the image. It will take a few minutes, hopefully. And then we will check if the container is running. Nice. Now let's see if the container is running. And as you can see, we have a running container with the following ID. Postgres Alpine image, blah, 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 name, Postgres DB. Nice, 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 nice. Latif, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And as you can see, our data in my home folder, how we be coding, dev minus DB. We have some data here. That's great. Okay. So far, so good. And by the way, I have a written tutorial for all of the stuff I'm doing here. Um, it's on medium.com. It, it, I will also link it. I will link it uh, in the YouTube description. I will also link it in the README section. Uh, now we should uh, be able to connect to our um, database. Uh, uh, this will be this command here. Okay. Copy. Paste. So da, 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 and type enter. Let's see what happens. And it asks for the password. And as you can remember, we set the password here to Postgres. And this should be also here in our YAML file. Postgres, Postgres. To make things easy. Postgres. And we are connected. That's great. Now let's see what kind of databases we have here. Okay, that works as well. Nice, nice. Uh, now I would say we can create our database. Just type create database, which will be, of course, Habib decoding. And it with a semicolon. Create database. Now just uh, the up arrow and see what we have. And you can see here, nice, we have our database. We didn't have it before. That's good, that's good. And now I think it's the time to switch to our IDE. Because in our IDE, um, we need to set up the profile. And just let me just check. Before you saw um, when I was running the the, the backend application, default profile default default because we didn't set up any active profile. Now we'll set up at the active profile. You remember application minus dev dot yaml. Uh, now we will do just active profiles dev. 
uh, I'm not quite sure the frame the framework or the uh, basically it's the ID that it's smart enough for Spring Boot to take now the application minus dev. We just have to type here minus, uh, dev. That's it. Apply. Okay. And uh, now it should take this uh, our local development database. And uh, now just run it. And hopefully everything works in the name of God. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Jamila Jitan. You see, you see here now uh, the following profile is active. Dev. Before we had default, as you can remember. And as you can see now, because our database is new and our this this requires the framework to set up the table task, this is done here. And as you can see, da, 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 everything gets properly set up. And yes, looks good. Now we can again try to access data localhost. It's empty right now. Uh, now I want to fill some data in it. I have already. Uh, let's, let's take this one. Just okay. And as you can see now, I'm just creating a new task. Let's say use of dev. DB today is the 26th of December. So nice. And uh, say okay. And Alhamdulillah, thanks to God, it works. And you can see we start with the ID one and it's there. Uh, yeah. And that's the thing. Um uh, that's the thing basically what I want to show you. If you do normally, if you do development, you don't want to use a pro, uh, your, your production database. That's the reason why we have extra application YAML files. Normally, if you work in a company, you would even have a staging environment for your uh, product owners, product managers, um, and a test extra application minus staging, application minus test. The test is usually usually for the QA person uh, for for your uh, QA colleagues, which are doing the quality assurance, which doing the manual testing, and uh, normally you would just use the minus def uh, environment. And if you really if your test and everything passes, your product managers are happy. You would use the uh, application of YAML file to to just to see that everything works also properly in production. And yeah, that's how you set up all the things. If you don't want to use the uh, local development database, just just say this. Let's remove it again. And uh, that's basically it. And if you turn off your machine, just and turn it off ag on again. Just the only thing you need to do is uh, to 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 uh, basically run again the comments. The 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 these things here and everything should work properly and yeah that's it for this uh, video that's how you set up a local development database if you have any questions just write something in the comment section below please be so kind like and subscribe and see you in the next video